everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Danny. Um, this is Pocket or Two. Um, welcome back to those of you who've been with me for a little while. And I'd like to say a really big um, welcome to my new subscribers. I've had quite a few recently, um, and I think I have Lisa from and so on to thank for that. Um, for mentioning me in one of her recent videos about um, sewing vloggers that are new to her. So thanks so much for that, Lisa, and welcome to everyone. I hope you um, stick around and enjoy the content. So um, today's video, I thought that I would talk a little bit about some of the things that I've made in the past few months as I've not done a makes video for a while. Um, first of all, what I am wearing, which is one of the things that I have made in the last few months. Um, this is the Lucienne shirt from I Am Patterns. It's the original version with these sleeves. Um, it's in a viscose, um, a Lady McElroy viscose that was gifted to me in exchange for um, a vlog post, uh, not a vlog post, a blog post from Crafty So and So. So if you want to know a bit more about this then, um, there's a blog post up on the Crafty So and So Crafty Bloggers Club um, website area. Um, uh, spoiler alert, I love it. Um, I really like the drape of this fabric. It's um, a viscose that has um, a, a small percentage of elastane in it um, so I do really, um, it's got a really nice kind of drip to it, it just hangs really nicely and I think it is that elastane content that um, gives it that drip so yeah I really love this, it's a really nice wear and um, I will be making more. Now the Lucienne has got um, a sleeve um, extension, hack, pack, whatever you want to call it, like an add-on pack um, which has sleeves with cuffs because these ones are just designed to be rolled up um, so I'm going to have a go at that next and I also keep forgetting that it comes in different lengths as well um, there's a tunic length and um, a dress length as well so I might have a go at those uh, the fabrics that I showed in my last video, not the Sapporo video, the one before that, um, the viscose fabrics that I got from Fabric Godmother. I might use one of those for, to make a dress version of this. It's such a simple shirt pattern so I might do that. Um, anyway, that's for another time. So I need to kind of go back a little bit to think about what it is that I've made. The first thing was that I made another closet case Cali shirt um, in the short sleeve version in the Soda Pop uh, Ruby Star Society fabric. So I'll insert a photo here. Um, uh, for this version I sized down um, so I've been making Cali shirts for a while now. I make, those of you who've been following me will know that I've made a lot of Cali shirts. Um, and this one I sized down um, and I think I've got a better fit with it. I do really like the fit. So I'm looking forward to wearing that a bit more in summer as well. Um, I also made the Sapporo coat, which um, paper cut patterns, which I've done um, posted a completely different video on that. It's like a sew with me slash review. So there's a review at the beginning um, and then I go through the process and at the very end there's some kind of me spinning around um, in the cut. So if you want to hear my thoughts on the Sapporo then head over to that and I will try and insert a card. I never know which side, maybe this side, this side. Um, somewhere here as well for that. Um, so I made the Kali and the Sapporo and then I think my sewing slowed down a little bit um, and then in recent weeks um, I've been sewing a little bit more again so let me check my list um, so I made this in between oh I've made a few wilder shirts as well prior to that so the wilder gown tops I made a couple I made one for Lubadoo Fabrics blog um, in a viscose in the short sleeve version and um, I've recently added elastic into the sleeves of my um, longer sleeved version which 
um, was um, fabric, is it Mind the Maker or Meet the Maker? I can never remember. Um, from Lamazzi Fabrics. Um, and I wasn't quite there was something that I didn't quite like about having the loose sleeves on it um, and because obviously it had um, a hem on the cuff on the sleeve that was just tucked up I could just unpick a little bit of it and then I threaded the elastic through kind of tightened it to the required length stitched it together and stitched it back um, and I'm really pleased with that now and I have Amanda from I Sew A Lot to thank for that tip because she did that to a version of hers as well and I messaged her and said how um, what have you done with the sleeves and she said oh, I've just added elastic so I really like that touch it's really nice um, so then I think after sewing the Sapporo I start sewing a pair of ginger jeans um, and I've put them to one side I keep going back so this week I've gone back and I've done the fly so I've got a full functioning um, front now but obviously the legs aren't constructed yet and it's been a really slow so like normally what I do with jeans is I just have a couple of days over a weekend where I'll just quickly or well not quickly but I'll make a pair you know in the I'll dedicate a couple of days to doing that and I'll just make them and have them fit but I think because the weather's been warmer and also because I'm only leaving the house once a day to walk the dog for our um, uh, allowed exercise. It's, I don't wear skinny jeans to do things like that. I normally wear skinny jeans for work. Um, and as I'm working from home at the moment, I'm, I'm not wearing jeans a lot. So I think they're not an urgent make anymore. So I've pushed them to one side because they take longer um, and they're a real practical make for me because um, I do live in jeans a lot of the time so I'll come back to them but the thing is that I don't want to rush them because of the top stitching I think you know they they take a lot of kind of um, care and patience to make jeans and I don't really want to rush them and then have a pair that I, I'll you know keep looking at the top stitching and thinking oh, I'm not quite happy with that so I will come back to those. I have done the fly this weekend, but I've done that in and amongst other um, sewing jobs, if you like, as well. So um, two things that I've made very recently that I really, really love is um, I bought some jersey from Material Girl Laura. I can't remember if I showed it in the last video or if it had not arrived yet. Um, I don't think I had it uh, when I spoke to you in the fabric haul, um, but she put it on, Laura put it on her Instagram and I couldn't resist it, so it's like, um, anyway, I'll insert a photograph here, um, and I just really, really, really loved this fabric, so I bought it and then I thought, oh, I want to make a t-shirt that's a bit different, I make a lot of luck, tees, um, and uh, Tilly and the Buttons Frankie tee, I've made the Hemlock Tea, uh, Lark Tea is my go-to by Grainline Studios and I just wanted something a little bit different so I kind of put a message out saying I want something with maybe a frilly sleeve and a few people suggested um, the Tilly one with the um, like puff sleeve um, but the neckline is quite rounded and it's just not quite my style um, I don't think I would have worn it a lot and then Laura from Material Girl Laura messaged and said oh what about the Kyoto tea by paper cut, cut patterns um, and when I looked at it I thought oh, yes so I ordered that downloaded stuck together and uh, the great thing was that paper cut were offering a 15% discount as well so it was a really good um, pattern to get and I made it first from the um, the jersey, the viscose jersey that I told you about in the last video, but I'd forgotten to bring it downstairs, which was some Lulu designs um, when I went to the Manchester Sewing Bee. So I um, I made a version out of that because it's just a plain smoke blue, really nice. Again, it's viscose and it's got that kind of bounce and drape to it. Um, so again, I'll insert a photograph for you. Um, 
and I really loved it. But the one thing that I did is I tried to use the twin needle and it worked okay on some bits like on the frill hem but then it skipped stitches a little bit and I used the right needle and messed about the tension. Um, I ended up, I think, did I unpick the neckband and I redid it in zigzag because I just wasn't happy with it. So on the second version that I made from the Material Girl Laura jersey, um, I did a rolled hem on the frill so um, with the rainbow overlocker thread that was already on my machine from making jeans. So I just used that. And I'm really pleased with it and I think I used a zigzag on those again I'll insert a photograph to show you but I really love the Kyoto tee and it's a t-shirt and a sweatshirt pattern so um, those of you who've been watching me for a long time will know that I love um, a sweatshirt so it's an excuse to make another one um, speaking of sweatshirts I made a linden and I haven't made a linden for probably about a year because I used to make a lot of them and I thought I need to slow down but over summer I retired two of my um, lindens that were made from beautiful Atelier Brunette um, French Terry and I worn them to death and they've been washed and through the dryer loads of times and starting to wear away and etc. So I thought it was okay to make another one and I used that rainbow fabric from Lou Badoo Fabrics that I showed you in the last, in the whole video. I used that rainbow um, fabric for that and I had some ribbon from See You at Six ribbon that I had in my stash and um, that matched one of the stripes so it's like a salmon pink kind of colour um, and uh, that's really nice so I'll show you again I'll insert a photograph of that so I really love that and it's another linden I've then finished a pair of hoods and pants so I ordered some more French terry from again from Louboudou Fabrics um, and some some great it's like a grey mal um, French terry and then I ordered some kind of magenta um, cerise kind of ribbon that I used for the waistband and for the pocket detail and for the cuffs. Now I will confess that I thought I could get away with using um, narrower elastic. Don't try it. I tried it and I tried them on and they looked weird. They looked like they were bunching strange on the waistband so I had to order some three inch um three inch two inch wide elastic and um wait for that to come I unpicked the waistband had to recut it again and I've just sewn that back on um it just doesn't work with a narrow elastic sometimes you can get away with doing things like this for sewing patterns but not with the hoods and pants so that's another pair of pants for sitting in the house working from home in as a lot of us are doing at the moment um and i'm sorry i'm just looking at my list i think that's the last the hoods and pants are the last thing that i've properly finished i've literally just finished them off the machine this afternoon um just finishing off the elastic uh, a couple of other things that I've done is I've made some um, uh, knot tie headbands which is from the Stitch Sisters tutorial so um, obviously I can't go to the hairdressers at the moment and my side shaves um, are growing out a little bit now so I'm starting to live in things like this um, headbands and headscarves and things so it's a good excuse to use up my jersey scraps so I've, I knocked up maybe three four of those one evening just using jersey scraps for the headbands so I'll put a photo in again here um, and the other thing that I've done is I rehemmed my Rita shirt dress the one with the tiger viscose fabric that I absolutely loved um, and still love and I noticed that the last time I wore it, when I hemmed it, I literally just kind of tucked it under um, and hemmed it. And I didn't finish the bottom of the fabric before I hemmed it. And some of it had 
has peeped out so I hadn't caught it on it had started to unfold and it just looked messy and the other thing is it was a little bit uneven as well so I took the scissors to it last night and I just instead of unpicking the hem I just cut it because I'm only five foot two and I thought that taking some length off wouldn't look so bad so I did that I finished the hem and then I did um uh, what do you call it? A, a blind hem. Now my blind hem foot didn't work that well. Um, it, well it's not the foot. My machine blind hemming didn't work that well with the viscose. Um, I used a 70 needle, I messed with the tension of it um, and it, it just wasn't playing so in the end I hand sorry my camera cut out there so in the end I just hand sewed the blind hem um, and it looks better it's nice um, I'm, I'm pleased with the finish so I've been doing a few things like little jobs like like, like adding the elastic into the sleeves of the wild top and um, finishing off the hoods and pants um, you know sewing up a few headbands and the other thing that I did is I saw it through my fabric stash um, I don't I don't have a massive stash of new fabrics, although I do have quite a few at the moment because I've purchased quite a few from um, independent sewing shops in the last few weeks who have been doing offers or just to kind of support them. Um, and I figure that I might have a little bit more sewing time um, coming up over summer. So um, I have... But my stash normally, sorry, is my cupboard where I keep my stash is mainly full of remnants um, and it's all the kind of pieces that you can't get a full top out of or a full vest out of, you know, there's a lot of jersey scraps in there that are kind of just too small to squeeze something out of. So I can always make underwear, um, more headbands and that kind of thing. So I've just been sorting through and organising it and it's now much more... Uh, tidy the drawers can open again so I keep everything pretty much in this one cupboard and then I've got a basket on top with new fabrics um, and I've started to earmark the fabrics that I do have for things as well so I'm going to slow down my fabric buying now I don't need to get any more for, um, for a while so I think that's pretty much everything that I've been making the other thing to say is that I ordered um, after watching Alex um, from Alex Judge Sews uh, talking about doing her um, colours, I decided to find something online, one of these quizzes to go through and figure out which kind of season I am and it turns out that I'm summer so I ordered one of the swatch boxes, uh, the Swatch Club from um, Lulu Designs, so they send you um, a swatch, a box of swatches with um, fabrics that are within your colour scheme, I think, four times a year, something like that. Um, go and have a look at Alex's video if you want to know more, I will, um, I'll put a link below or something. So I've joined that and ordered one of those so I'm looking forward to that arriving and um, so I can see um, what fabrics and what colours they've picked for me and that viscose jersey that I made the uh, Kyoto tea in is from them as well and it's really beautiful quality um, so yeah I think that's about it I've just cut a Dorota Davis Maxine dress out I was talking about that last time I've cut it out of a uh, um, a scuba crepe in leopard print to toilet um, and if that works then I'm going to make it out of the nice fabric the chevron fabric that I showed you um, in the last video uh, the fabric haul video so I think that's about everything for now I hope everyone is doing okay um, uh, let me know what you're making let's have a chat in the comments below one thing that i will say is that i'm really loving all these lives that people are doing at the moment um even if i'm not watching them in real time being able to watch them back people like gertie sean from kittenish behavior um rachel from stitched up did one last 
weekend I think I think it was last Friday and I think you know in at the moment when we can't do sewing meetups um, and that kind of thing it's really good to have these uh, moments where people can get together um, and talk about sewing and things like that. I also had um, a Zoom hangout with some of my sewing friends um, from the Midlands as well um, and Devon so that was really lovely so I think you know there's a lot of nice things going on at the moment within the sewing community where people are just um, having the opportunity to kind of hang out virtually or people are sharing things um sandeep from system in taka started the hashtag feeling so much better um and she had a week of people sharing and she did um prizes every day where people were just sharing like their sewing progress over a week and again that hashtag is being continued for people to share their mix um so there's there are a lot of nice things going on at the moment um which I think are keeping people in the sewing community talking and sharing um, and sewing. So, yes, that's it. That's it for me, I believe. Um, I'm trying to think. I feel like I've not made a lot, but I've been at my machine quite a lot recently, but I guess a lot of it's been doing kind of little jobs and things like that um, and definitely getting back into sewing again and kind of finding a bit of a flow the ginger jeans are on the back bench at the moment but there are a lot more um, interesting things that I'm having a go at okay so yeah please tell me what you're making at the moment um, if there are um, hashtags that you're following or lives that you're watching channels that um, that I don't know about please um, add in the comments below um, as always thank you so much for watching thank you to my new subscribers if you don't subscribe and you enjoy um, you've enjoyed my video please um, think about subscribing you know what to do to click the link um, take care everyone stay safe and I will speak to you all soon bye everyone <laughs>